This episode of What's the App is brought to you by Audible. Well, hello there, folks. It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo. How's it going? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Welcome to another episode of What's the Apps. Today, we're going to get our zombies on with a little game for both iOS and Android called Dead Trigger. Hit me. Dead Trigger, a game created by the same folks behind the popular mobile third-person shooting game, Shadow Gun. So you can kind of say that Dead Trigger has a lot to live up to, and it definitely doesn't disappoint. The premise of the game is pretty straightforward, as with most if not all zombie shoot 'em up games. Zombies come after you and you shoot the bejesus out of them. Dead Trigger also has an RPG element to the game, allowing you to purchase and upgrade weapons with money you find and earn. Right off the bat, you'll notice the amazingly stunning graphics, the level of depth and detail that went into the zombies, the environment and oh yes your weapons are incredible and not just for a mobile game either. The controls are also buttery smooth, keeping you focused on headshotting the zombies and keeping you immersed in the gameplay. Personally, I love zombie shoot 'em ups. It all started with Left 4 Dead, then it progressed to the Nazi zombie minigames found in Call of Duty, and it kind of grew from there. Plus, I also became a fan and follower of AMC's The Walking Dead. Although the gameplay hardly compares to what you'd experience with Left 4 Dead, considering that this is a mobile game, the overall experience lives up to its console and PC based counterparts. Speaking of those games, the zombies in Dead Trigger are more similar to the ones found in Call of Duty. They're the dead, mindless, rah, rah, easily outrunnable kind versus the ones found in Left 4 Dead, which are the holy crap, they're coming right for us, oh my goodness, get them off me, kind of zombies. Within 10 to 15 minutes of play, it becomes very, very apparent that this game was designed around persuading the user to spend money. Real money, that is, not in-game cash. The cost of some of the weapons are ridiculous, and from what I know, correct me if I'm wrong, unobtainable unless you purchase in-game gold with real money or sign up to one of those sites or services listed at the bank. You know something's up when the bank's sole purpose is to persuade you either to promote the game or to sign up for services in exchange for in-game gold. Although the controls were smooth, I found them to be a little finicky, especially the controls to aim the gun. Dead Trigger's controls are similar to what you'd expect on console games, except slightly worse. The entire surface of the screen is open for you to aim and move your gun, but I think it's recommended that you keep your your thumb or finger near the edge of the screen. There's an on-screen joystick that simultaneously aims as well as fires your weapon. I'm not a fan of this system at all. I found myself wasting a lot of ammo while trying to position my gun then shooting it. After a while the gameplay gets a little repetitive. The zombie characters repeat, the environment repeats, and the objectives more or less, you guessed it, repeats. When you get to this point you're basically playing or rather farming for cash to upgrade your gear. But if you're into that kind of thing I'm sure it won't bother you one bit as you blast headshot and hose your way through the hordes of zombies. Which reminds me, I'm gonna take some time to thank our friends at audible.com. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. With over 100,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded onto your iPod or MP3 player to be played back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in every genre. Science fiction, thrillers, dramas, comedies, history, business, and much, much more. Personally, I'd recommend checking out this as an audiobook by comedic genius, at least in my opinion. Opinion, Dimitri Martin. I often have audiobooks or comedic CDs playing when I'm working or when I'm out and about. It's a simple and convenient way to brighten up your day. Just go to audible.com slash techno to get your free audiobook download of your choice and 30 days free trial when you sign up today. Again, go to audible.com slash techno for your free audiobook. Back to the review. Overall, Dead Trigger is a solid zombie shoot 'em up. At only 99 cents right now for both iOS and Android games sold separately, of course, it's a must have for zombie fans and or fans of zombie shooting games. As awesome as these graphics are, keep in mind that it's still a mobile game, so don't expect it to be a a pocketable Left 4 Dead, although that would be very, very nice if I must say so myself. So, for Madfinger's Dead Trigger, I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Dead Trigger. Just a heads up, John Rettinger, Mr. John 4 Lakers himself, will be filling in for me for What's the Apps for a while. Anywho, this was John Q from Techno Buffalo. Thank you very much for stopping by, and uh, I'm Audi. Peace sign.